You're locked into DJ Bully's Morning Ballyhoo. It's 943, and I'm here with the cast of Theater of War, brought to you by Armed Forces Entertainment. It's a dramatic reading using Greek war plays to discuss key town hall subjects faced by service members. Now, exactly what kind of issues are discussed in this dramatic reading? Yeah, well, we we start with the presentation of a... Of a a play by Sophocles that was an ancient war play written by this general. And uh, that's about 45 minutes of the hour and a half session that we do. So the second half is really the most important part. We use the dramatic reading as a, as a, a launching pad to have a conversation about you know, s- subjects that we can't, we don't generally, we don't have a lot of outlets for suicide okay. prevention and post-traumatic stress and, um, reintegration uh, of troops and f- for their spouses as well, for their communities. So we cover a lot of ground, um, and we, we amazingly have found that the play really does touch on a lot of the subjects that people are dealing with today. Yeah. Okay. One of the, one of the um, subjects that's near and dear to me is uh, military families, and it's amazing. Right. I play Tecmessa, who's Ajax's wife. And um, she has a huge role to play in a in this play. And when military, we've done some performances that include military spouses in the audience. And oh, how neat. the give and take from the conversations that come out afterwards about dealing with um, service members who are dealing with trauma, service members who are struggling with reintegration. The, right. the conversations sometimes from those spouses, it's uh, we get a give and take. We get something back from those audiences that feeds into the performance. Every performance we do is taking from the comments we get from the people who've seen the play. And there's always something new. It, things that, that people like hit them like honor, the loss of honor, betrayal, uh, the, the feeling of, of not being rewarded, not getting someone's getting their due or being passed over when everyone knows that the, 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 the actions that, for instance, Ajax is, is called the shield because he's always protecting, his men are always protecting everyone else. And so when he gets passed over, to get the armor of, of uh, Achilles, he's just angry, and, and, and he, can't, he can't describe the feelings that he has because of the nine years of war. And so this okay. starts, he starts on his downward. And for a lot of us troops, you know, some of us were able to bring our families, but a lot of us weren't. A lot of us are yeah. here unaccompanied. Yeah. And we struggle with, with these kind of feelings, this kind of angst, these kind of, right. we want to do our duty, but at the same time, we're struggling and and how does this presentation help with that what's always like blown my mind is afterwards when the people stand up and they will say you know when ajax said this and they will quote me back verbatim something you just from the play that that hit them while they were sitting there watching and they'll stand up and say when ajax said this it reminded me of when this thing happened with my buddy and i was able to be there or i wasn't able to be there um, people will stand up and say, I couldn't believe that this play talked about exactly the way I felt when we went on maneuvers and this thing happened to me and my CEO did this to me. So uh, Sophocles was a genius. 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 There's, <laughs> there's a part where he, he and uh, Tecmessa and Ajax are arguing. And, and one of the performances uh, – at 29 Palms for the Marines, this Marine stood okay. up and said, yeah, that hit me because how do you tell your wife that you really got to kill somebody today? You just can't tell your wife the reason you're right. feeling bad is you really got to kill someone. You can't do that. And then you just, the little hairs on the back of your neck stand up. And then you see heads nodding and other guys saying, yeah, how do you communicate horror with your wife? You want to keep that away. You want to protect her. Yeah, there's so few opportunities that we're given to have these kind of conversations, too. And the beauty of theater of war is that it, it sort of creates the perfect conditions for open and honest conversations that you normally wouldn't have. And you um, know what's really fun is you see some of the guys come in and you can tell that they don't think that this is going to have anything to do right. with them. Yeah, okay. They've got their phones yeah. in their hands and they're like surreptitiously, you know, glancing at something. And then... Afterwards, <laughs> and I'm sure all too often those guys are the ones that 
are spearheading some real deep issues or are most or, affected right. and right yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and, and they whether, they, whether they get yeah, into right. the deep issues sometimes it's just fun to have someone stand up and say i didn't think i was going to like this i didn't think that watching sophocles ajax was going to have any value for me i was wrong it was good. It's a good story. Right. In addition to being a useful conversation. And then you get the guys who come up, wow, I'm just so glad this wasn't a PowerPoint. This is, <laughs> thank you for coming and making this at least interesting. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I'm, I've, we've been with the cast. I've been with the cast, and you are a de- uh, treasured viewer, listener, uh, <laughs> here, viewer, because your voices are so... <laughs> Illustrative. They're so Aww. they're rich, and and this has been a great experience. Thank Glad you. to have you guys on yeah, the show. Thank you. Yeah, we got really a shout fun. out thank to you. Armed Forces Entertainment. Jody. Yeah, and Jody. Jody. Major Jody Wine, and she's <laughs> been our right. chaperone, and will she be puts for up the next with couple us. weeks. Uh, she's been amazing. So <laughs> we're Air Force. Yeah. Yeah. So this has been Linda Powell, Chris Coffee, and Reggie Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me on the Who this hour. Uh, Please head out 10.30 and 1.30 at the Camp Casey Theater for the Theater of War Dramatic Reading, which is just much more than a PowerPoint. It is a way for you to connect and you to figure out exactly, hey, you're not the only one, and other people have some vital information and some, some connection to make with you. And head out, connect with them, see this performance I'll have your weather and exchange rates right after this. Go blue. That's a new tag.